wouldn't be able to tell you exactly when this happened, but around about two or three weeks ago, we started getting reports of uh, WooCommerce users. When they tried to click the pay now button, there was an issue checking out. We're gonna demonstrate this issue, a workaround, and also just give you a status update on the official issue report. I'm here on the order screen. I'm gonna quickly check out via the Paygate gateway. We now click back or a failed transaction will do the same result. Okay, so under this order received, if you say pay, it says, sorry, we do not have enough. And then the product name in stock to fulfill your order, not available. We apologize for any inconvenience caused. Uh, this didn't used to happen. You can see um, it happens when pay for order equals true. If I remove this and click enter, it will actually proceed as it needs to. But obviously you can't ask users to fix that to change the URL. So this is until WooCommerce fixes it, this will be the workaround. It's a bit of an annoying workaround, unfortunately, but um, what I'm gonna do is to demonstrate, I'm gonna have this open here. I'm gonna open up the product page for V-neck T-shirt. You'll see this issue occurs, whether it's a simple product, variable product, I've tested it on both, it seems to occur all over the place. This issue is happening because the manage stock setting is being ignored. So it's seen in stock as there's nothing left. Um, so it should be a fairly easy bug for them to sort out. But what I want to show you is if I say, if I refresh this page without making any changes to this product, you'll see it's on this page. The workaround, it's really annoying, I know, but the workaround is to, for products that don't actually have stock, is you say enable stock management at product level and then you give it some obscene amount of um, numbers and you say um, update. And this will instantly fix it. See, it's showing up now. If I go back to inventory and I disable this, it's in stock, I say okay. then this paper order page disables again. So it's a bit of an annoying workaround, but that's what we've got at the moment. The other option is to um, revert back to, I think it's WooCommerce 3.3.1 um, that was still working, but it's obviously not recommended to go down several versions because there's been database updates and um, WooCommerce 3. WooCommerce 3.5 has is having a lot of development done, so it's best to rather use the workaround. If I update this again with the workaround and I refresh, it's sorted. So if you've got lots of products, what do you do? Well, here's our one solution. Here I'm on the product page. I say edit. I select all and I say apply. Then under stock, they change to, and you put this obscene number in again for all products that don't have stock numbers. Okay. So I say, I manage stock, you and I say yes as well. In stock, you can change, it doesn't seem to do a difference. The main thing is manage stock and stock quantity. You say update. And there you go.